Russian war correspondent Maxim Kalashnikov, a comrade of the Czechist Igor Strelkov in the Club of Angry Patriots, visited the Kursk region and complained about the terrible mess in the Russian armed forces. He claims that Moscow is incapable of organizing the supply of even basic things for its soldiers. The propagandists demanded that the chief of the general staff, Valery Gerasimov, and the new Russian minister of defense, Andrei Belusov, pay attention to the problem. I would like to draw the attention of Mr. Gerasimov and Mr. Belusov. Finally, bring order to the personnel records. We met guys in a neighboring village who are fighting here. As we were told, Nivas are bought at their own expense. We asked for warm underwear, socks, the cold is coming, and where is the chief of the rear? They smiled so bitterly and said, in the rear. One of the guys from Donbass, he was seconded here. Such a mess. He is there as having voluntarily left his unit. Do you understand what a mess is going on in this war? Even the most basic things are not in order. This is not even Chechnya. Neither the first nor the second. Do you understand? Complained the Z Patriot. Earlier, Maxim Kalashnikov said that Russia is losing the strategic initiative in the war against Ukraine. The Russian armed forces are too weak for serious operations at the front. The propagandist emphasized that the Russian army today is not capable of either displacing the Ukrainian defense forces from the Kursk region or continuing its offensive on Pokrovsk. Do you understand that we are actually losing the strategic initiative now? The Ukrainian armed forces have invaded Kursk. We don't have the forces to drive the enemy out of there. I always said, why this Kharkov operation? Why go to Kharkov from Volchansk? They only wasted their troops. Well, that's having an effect now. The advance on Pokrovsk has always stopped. We don't have the forces now, guys. The strategic scales are starting to tip in favor of our enemy, Kalashnikov said. He also complained about the Putin regime, which, in his words, is unwilling to make the necessary rational decisions. According to several reports published on social networks, on October the 13th, 2024, an F-16 fighter jet operated by the Ukrainian Air Force shot down a Russian Su-34 fighter bomber. This victory, Ukraine's first in air-to-air -air combat using the F-16, was achieved with the advanced AIM-9X Sidewinder missile, known for its infrared homing and high maneuverability, writes Army Recognition. The AIM-9X, widely regarded for its lethality, gives the F-16 a significant edge in dogfights able to engage enemy aircraft at high angles and within close-range combat scenarios. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is renowned for its versatile air-to-air -air combat capabilities, combining advanced avionics, radar systems and an array of precision-guided missiles. One of its standout features is the AN-APD-66 radar, which allows it to track multiple targets simultaneously while providing enhanced deten detection range and precision. The F-16 can carry a range of air-to-air -air missiles, including the AIM-120 AMRAM for behind visual range engagements and the AIM-9X Sidewinder for close-range dogfighting. 
thanks to its off boresight capability, the AIM 9X's ability to lock onto targets from extreme angles makes it particularly lethal in close quarters combat. This mix of radar guided and infrared guided weapons enables the F 16 to dominate in both long range and short range engagements. Compared to other contemporary fighting aircraft, such as Russia's Su-35 and MiG-31, the F-16 has certain advantages regarding agility and electronic warfare capabilities. While the Su-35 boasts superior long-range radar and missile systems, the F-16 compensates with its superior maneuverability and integrated electronic warfare systems like the Pylon Integrated Dispensing System, which deploys countermeasures to evade radar-guided threats. This agility, coupled with advanced helmet-mounted queuing systems that allow pilots to engage targets by simply looking at them, gives the F-16 a distinct advantage in close combat. The AIM-9X Sidewinder missile is a state-of-the-art air-to-air weapon that has revolutionized modern dogfighting. Its infrared guidance system allows it to detect and lock onto the heat signature of an enemy aircraft, typically from the engines, making it highly effective against fast-moving targets. What sets the AIM-9X apart from previous iterations is its high off boresight capability. This means that the pilot doesn't need to be directly facing the enemy to fire. The missile can target and hit aircraft even at high extreme angles relative to the jet's flight path. This off boresight capability is paired with a helmet-mounted sight system enabling the pilot to simply look at a target to guide the missile. This feature drastically reduces the reaction time needed in close air engagements, a critical advantage when pilots maneuver at high speeds and in high threat environments. Moreover, the AIM-9X is known for its agility and ability to perform sharp turns, allowing it to stay locked onto highly agile enemy fighters.